How's it going, everybody? Colts Nation, how you doing? We're just getting our initial reaction here. The Colts are about to pick next at 127. Uh, Carolina Panthers just selected Chuba Hubbard, running back out of Oklahoma State at 126. The Indy pick is about to be announced and brought up here soon. I guess no uh, Chuba Hubbard to Colts. Like no, I, suspected. I don't know what was going to happen. <laughs> they selected another running back. There were like two goodness. running backs that were selected in the fourth round early before Chuba Hubbard was selected, and that's quite odd. That was quite odd to me. Yeah. But uh, he's going to a, a, a system that, like you said, missed Curtis Samuel last year. Curtis Samuel's gone, so Chuba Hubbard yeah. fits right in exactly to what they want to do. He, he's a great running back. 21 rushing touchdowns in 2019. Wow. Yeah, tied third most in the FBS. That's crazy. I told you, in 2019, there were arguments to be made that Chuba Hubbard altogether was one of the best running backs in all of the country. I mean, what I don't, happened? I, I, just another oh, wow. year of – just another year, and his stats kind of went down. And, huh. you know, just – I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Yeah. Interesting. I originally think Chuba Hubbard originally uh, threatened to quit during the season because because uh, Coach Gundy uh, mm-hmm. has a sp- specific political view that I oh, don't seriously? think that they like, and uh, I don't oh, think wow. he liked it. Interesting. But I don't remember that specifically. So, but uh, the pick is in for the Colts at one twenty-seven. Uh, we are just waiting. It's not on a live broadcast right now, so it'll probably come up once we see it. Yep. Giving me Jacob Eason vibes all over again. Oh, Remember geez. last year? Yeah, that's right. But Ballard has had a really good history of finding some quality guys in that fourth round. Yes, right? Marlon Mack, Naheem Hines, a couple that come to mind immediately. Um, even Corey Willis, Willis a couple years ago. Corey Willis, yep. Okay, pick is in. Yeah, pick's in. Yep. Should be coming in any second now. <sighs> it's exciting and. Everything else. We've got a couple more of these that are going to be coming your guys' way. Uh, we got a couple of uh, picks going out today, so yeah. should be pretty fun. Uh, like we said, Colts have had some good success with late round draft picks. Yeah. This is uh, this is pick one of four today that right now that the Colts have. All right. Chuba Hubbard. Interesting. This is the longest pick is in ever. Yeah, I know. Of the whole <laughs> round so far. Just yeah. waiting. Just waiting. <sighs> I think as long as it's not another edge rusher, Colts Nation will be fine with it. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Ballard will do my, it again. Uh, Just watch. <laughs> my head is already hurting from all the people who are trashing on the last pick. So hopefully this will help ease the concern, I guess, a little bit. Question is, is there it, Brevin Jordan is still left on the clock. There's a couple receivers. Do we go corner? What do we, what do, we do here? Yeah. It, there's a lot of question marks here. Brevin Jordan's name is still on here. There's a lot of options. It'll be go. interesting to see who goes and announces this. With the 127th pick in the 2021 NFL said. Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Kylan Granson, tight end, SM. Tight oh, end? So it is a tight end, Kylan but it's Granson. not Brevin Jordan. Interesting. Wow. All right, so a little bit about Kylan Granson, 2020, first team all ACC, AAC selection, 536 receiving yards and five touchdowns in 2020. Six one and a half, about two hundred and uh, two hundred forty five pounds. So that's okay. interesting. Yeah, that's very mean, interesting. The Colts figure out tight end hopefully a little bit. Yeah, looks uh, like more of a receiving option anyway. Yeah, I'm um, not as big, right? Yeah, not um, quite as big as some of the other tight ends that's, out there. That's interesting though that Brevin Jordan's yeah. falling like this. Brevin Jordan is falling, man. I don't know what it is, but Helen Granson. We know Ballard has said the guys have to fit the mold of what they want to do. Yep, and. I don't want to hear what Peter says about this. Yeah, let's, let's listen. I think this guy's got a great potential, and he really has a presence about him. 
Don't know as much about the player as you guys, but the person, he blew us away on set. Yeah, remember, he's a transfer kid who made his bones at SMU. Reminded me a little bit, DJ, Joseph Josiah DeGuar. Yeah. Coming out of Cincinnati. Ability to move, move him around in formations, create matchups, and okay. make plays downfield. Okay. Looks like a matchup nightmare for defenses. Yep. Okay. And they said, and Peter Schrager said the same thing we said. Fit in the mold of what Ballard wants. He said, blew him away on set when they talked to him. Just the player in and of itself is really awesome. So, again, just another player that Ballard wants to have that, you know, fits the mold of the locker room and uh, certainly sounds like that right there. Not an edge rusher, so you guys can rest yeah, easy. Yeah, you guys can take it the easy. The Colts now. address tight end. We They're, thought they might, and they, they end up doing it. Now I don't know what this means about potentially getting Zach Hurts. We'll have to see. Uh, but that's interesting nonetheless that the Colts want to get they said they want a receiving option. Looks they like they said got they one. wanted a playmaker. We'll yeah. see if this is what they were referring to. Yeah, we'll so. see. But all right, guys, that's our reaction of the Colts' fourth round selection. Let us know what you think of it.